Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifier between Cameroon and the Ivory Coast. At time of recording, it doesn't look like this fixture has been assigned a stadium. Um, there are no stadiums from Cameroon on the Richard patch that I use anyway. Um, I have picked one of the generic national team stadiums that looks like a stadium I know I've seen the Cameroon national team play out before. trouble with the pronunciation. I don't think I'm even going to try it. It starts with an A. Don't go that far. <laughs> All right, looks like these two sides are ready to leave the tunnel. As the players take the pitch, let's take a look around our stand-in for the Cameroon Stadium that starts with an A that may or may not be where this is played before we pause for the national anthem. Starting lineups. For Cameroon, they line up in a 4 4 2. Potent strike pairing Toko and Hamdi of Liga inside Lyon and Chupamoting of Bundesliga side Bayern Munich. For the strength of this side. For the Ivory Coast, 4 3 2 1. Kessier of AC Milan. Wilfred Zaha of Crystal Palace. Nicolas Pepe of Arsenal. Mark Bailey from Manchester United. Tons of talent on the field for this one. Here's a look at our Calf Umbro Neo Pro Ball, and we're underway in Cameroon. Ivory Coast lead the group over Cameroon by a single point. I gotta say, this is a tough draw for these two. The 10 group winners are going to the playoff to determine the five sides and for, that will represent the African Federation, Confederation. And it's hard for me to imagine that both of the, one of these sides, I should say, would be left out of that next stage. I think this is a, a brutal draw for both these two to be in the same group like this. This will be one to watch. win possession, moving forward, but can't quite get a shot off, Kessier, Zaha, a lot of high-end talent for both of these sides over the years, go back to the days of Drogba versus Eto, maybe Drogba and Samuel Eto, if uh, any youngsters are watching that, uh, football watching experience may not go back that far. My goodness, two legends of the game. And the Ivorian strike first. Asale. I see a lot of 
French sounding names in this one. Both of these countries speak French as their primary language as far as I know. I know for sure Ivory Coast do and I'm pretty sure Cameroon do as well. Jabber between the uh, back line of Cameroon after that one went in. I'm not sure what the perceived uh, issue was there, but Soleil has the goal. Ivorians are up 1 0 in the 26th minute. Target goes over the touch line. It will be a throw to the Coupe de Guire. It's a person who took French for six years. I should probably be able to give a little bit of that here. Manchester United defender. It is Pepe from Arsenal. Zaha from Crystal Palace can't get to it. Cameroon are moving the other way. Just a couple minutes plus stoppage before the halftime break. Chupamoting. Bayern Munich is dispossessed. That potent strike pair of Cameroon is the strength of this side and have been nearly marked out of this one. Ivory Coast had most of the possession. Another shot there right at the death of the first half. 1 0 Ivory Coast on the goal from Asale. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. Quantity of possession not too far off, but quality of possession heavily favoring the Ivory Coast. Most importantly, the score sheet favors the Ivory Coast, I suppose. Again, this is a brutal draw for this confederation. I don't know exactly what their process is, but I'm going to hate to see one of these two sides not in Qatar. Just going to hate it. Wilfred Zaha, Crystal Palace. Fairly immediately after the second half begins, gets the goal. Puts the laces right through it into the side net. Power, pace, precision. What a strike. Chupamote, captain of the Bayern Munich forward, is coming off. Interesting decision. I, I don't know that any of the um, attacking issues are due to anything that he or Toko Akambi are or aren't doing. I think. Ivory Coast have just been dominating the, the possession here. And the bit they've had, they just haven't been able to get forward. There's Toko Akambi, the Lyon man, dispossessed. Looking for Asale there, pass is intercepted. Toko Ikambi of Lyon. Dispossessed. Fofana. Again, I'm sure what he was 
doing there. Pepe, Asale, Zaha. Looking for Pepe on the other side making that run. Couldn't quite get the pass off. Wow, Toko Kambi, what a strike. The Orient keeper. He's able to save it. 86th minute. Cameroon running out of time. Two goal deficit. Things are looking pretty dire here for Cameroon. Fear that if this were to be the result means Cameroon are going to be out of qualifying, out of Qatar. I hate to see that. For this preview, 2-0 to the Ivory Coast. I do think on, on paper, their side, just a bit of an advantage. Cameroon being at home probably negates that, slim as the advantage is. So this should be a fun one. But like I said, I'm going to hate to see one of these sides not make it to Qatar. I think for me, as I look across the landscape in CAF, I see Algeria, although they're pretty tight with Burkina Faso. Algeria, Tunisia, Nigeria. These two, Senegal, of course, Morocco, Ghana. So, a lot of lot of talent in Africa. There's going to be some really talented members of the CAF that don't make it. Anyway, here's our goal from Zaha after the second half. Already seen the goal from Asale. Provides the feed here to Wilfred Zaha. Crystal Palace man makes good. Toko Akambi. Leon striker. Nice strike there. That's it for this one from Cameroons. Cote d'Ivoire de Cameroon nil. If you enjoy the video, please give it a like. If there's a fixture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.